guys. My name is John Dyes with Chrisfield Computers. I'm here today to show you how to do a RAM replacement on this Dell Inspiron 1750. This is one of our customer laptops. They brought it in. It has a bad stick of RAM in slot one. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and flip the computer over. We use a foam pad underneath of it. That way we can not scratch the top of the laptop. And first thing we're going to do is remove the battery. Once the battery's gone, we'll go ahead and take a small screwdriver. It's a small tip on there. Stick it right into the slot that's labeled C slash M. M stands for memory in this case. We'll pull out that small screw. It is very tiny, so make sure you don't lose that. We're then going to take our finger in this little slot here, stick it in, pull the case up, pull it out. There's a few feet you don't want to break. Once we're in here, you'll go ahead and see the memory. Slots one and two. This is slot one where we do have a bad stick of memory. So we'll have to remove both sticks in order to get to the bad stick. We're gonna start by using the levers on the top and bottom of this slot. It's gonna go up at about a 45 degree angle. We pull it out. That is our good stick of RAM, our bad sticks down here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull these two levers and the stick of RAM will pop up at a 45 degree angle. Go ahead and throw this one in the recycle bin because it is bad. We have no sticks of RAM in here. For this job, we are going to use a crucial 2 gigabit DDR2 6400 stick. Go ahead and take this out of the packaging. And once we get that out of the packaging, we're going to want to make sure not to leave any marks here. So we'll take a soft microfiber cloth because I did touch them and we'll rub that over the, the pins, make sure they're completely clear. Once we know the stick of RAM is clear, we will go ahead and uh, put this in. There is a cut on the side and you'll see right here, there is a little piece that sticks out. So this will go in at a 45 degree angle and then you just push it down you'll see most of the gold is covered on these pins that's how you know it's completely in there now this stick of RAM since we took it out and handle it we'll wipe the pins with a microfiber cloth and once we have this stick we'll make sure the pin lines up and go ahead and put it back in once it's at a 45 degree angle, make sure it's pushed in and we'll slide that down. It'll pop into place with the pins. Now you've installed the two sticks of RAM. You'll go ahead and reverse the process of putting this cover back on. Grab the screw. We will put it right back in to the hole we took it out of. And pop the battery back in. Now your computer is ready to go. You have installed an extra uh, stick of RAM that is now good. You've removed the old stick of RAM. Now it is important to note that the stick of RAM we put in was a uh, PC26400 module. And that is what we removed out of here with this Kingston stick. It is a PC2 6400 module. So we wanted to make sure that we match those up correctly. That way we don't put uh, mismatched RAM in causing it to slow down. That's it. If you like the video, go ahead and press like. And you can always subscribe to this channel for more information. Thank you again, guys.